Hey, Austin, you ready to do another drawing today? Yeah. What are we going to draw? Walrus. A walrus? Yeah. It's kind of a hard word to say, huh? Yeah. <laughs> little man you got your marker yeah yeah we hope you guys are gonna follow along with us right yeah yeah and if we go too fast what can they do pause the video yes you guys can always pause the video if we ever go too fast okay dude you ready to draw them yeah all right let's do this okay also we're gonna first start with our walrus's mouth and we're gonna draw three and it's gonna be on its side okay okay all right so you watch me I'm gonna draw it kind of small because we don't want to draw it too big and so we're gonna draw three so we'll draw one bump, there's the first part of the three, and then another bump, and there's the other part of the three. Look at that, looks yeah. like a three, huh? Yeah. So let's start Let's start right here, and let's slide your marker up so it's a little easier to draw. Yeah. There we go. And then we're gonna start, here, I'll draw, I'll put a little point right here for you, okay? We're gonna okay. start there, and we'll do another point right there, and another point right there, and that's, so we draw a bump that goes down, and then another, or U-shapes, two U-shapes. Okay. You start it there, yes, and then down, and then back up. You did it. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> and then another one. Oh, good job, Austin. All right, okay, now let's curl. We're going to curl those in just like this right at the top. Okay, so they curl in. Yeah, I know how to do Do you know? Do okay, I won't, I won't do a point for you. You can do it by yourself. There you go. Good job. And then you can do another one that comes in. Good. Okay, Austin, let's draw the top of his head. So now we're going to do a U shape that goes over the top. Well, I'm going to bring these in just a little further like this. Okay, and then we're going to do a upside down U or a rainbow line that goes up and over like that. <laughs> Good job. Keep going and then come back down. Good. <laughs> that looks funny. <laughs> that looks funny, huh? This, it's a funny shaped head. And this is back. This is his, the top of his head, and I'm kind of straightening it out here. So here we go. All right. So now we're going to draw his eyes, or let's draw his nose. We're going to draw a little triangle right here, an upside down triangle for his <laughs> nose right there. Okay? Can you do it without points? Yeah. Good. Up, over. Over. Yep, and then back down. Good job. Okay, and then let's do his eyes. So draw two little round eyes. Good. Good job. Okay, and then we can draw three little dots right here on his cheeks <laughs> and over here on these cheeks. That guy looks like a dog. Yeah, it does, huh? And we're going to put whiskers on him so it looks even more like a dog. Yeah. And then do the same on that side. Good job. Okay, and then let's do three whiskers. So one, two, three, and then one, two, three. Okay. Yeah. Is that three? Mm-hmm. Mm three on that side. <laughs> or maybe that's four. <laughs> oh yeah, you put one extra. See, one, two, three, four. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's draw his teeth now, okay? So he has really long teeth, and they're called tusks. Can you say tusks? Tucks. Tucks. <laughs> All right, here we go. So we're going to draw one line that comes down from that cheek. Yes. And then let's draw another line on this side that matches it. So the same length. Good job. Good job. So you can see this one's a little bit shorter, so you can make it a little longer. There you go. So they match, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, now we're going to come down from here and connect into that line and then connect onto or this line. We could connect and then connect. Yes. So we're going to start right here and then draw a line that connects to that point. <laughs> That's okay. Come down. Oh. Good job, and then, yes, and then the same on that side. Here, let's go over here. Start right here, so it matches. Good job, and then come down, and then I did curve the extra one. That's okay. Good yeah. job, you did it. Give me five. That's his head. We're all done with his head. Okay. Should we do his body now? Yeah. All right. Okay, so now we're going to do a big J shape, 
and it's going to come right here on the side of his head, curl down like this, my marker's squeaky, and then stop. So we're going to start right here. We'll yeah, I don't need down. a point. Okay, I won't do a point, but then we're going to stop like right, right about there. Okay. You're getting so good, you don't need points, huh? Mm -hmm. Perfect. That was awesome, you did it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, okay, now let's do his first flipper, okay? So we're going to do that same line right here. We'll do another one, just like that one, but smaller. See how that's smaller? So you can start right there and do a, a J. I have a J shape, but smaller. It's going to be for his flipper. Perfect. And then we'll do another line right here for the back of his flipper. So here, hold on one sec. I'm going to start, start up here and then come down to that line. Good job. Awesome. Okay, and then let's put three lines for his flipper. Or two, sorry. Two lines. One, two. Good job. Okay, now let's do his other flipper on the other side of his body. So we'll draw a curve line that comes out right here. Good, and then we'll draw another line that connects like that. Go straight down. Good job, and then we can do uh, a line right here and another line. So two lines right there. <laughs> Good job, man. It's awesome. All right, okay, let's do the rest of his body. So we're gonna pretend like this line comes through his flipper and it's gonna come out the other side. And I'm gonna draw a line that comes down and then connects into that line. So that's gonna be his tail and it's curving up. So we're gonna start here. You could start here or you could come over here and start here. Draw a line that connects right to there. You wanna start there? You uh, want me to put a point out here? Yeah. It's gonna be right, right about there. Yeah. Good job, that's gonna be his tail. Okay, now let's draw his back, all right, Aust? Okay. Okay, we're gonna draw another line that comes out of his head right here. And it's going to curve down like that. <laughs> so we're going to start there. Go ahead. You can do it. And then it's going to stop before it gets too close. Yeah. Good job. And then we're going to draw another line right here for his tail. Like that. So we can start up here. Right there. And then you don't want to connect it. You want to get close though. So right about there. Good job. I like it. <laughs> Okay, now let's draw another curve line. We're going to draw his tail. So we're going to draw another curve right here. So you can draw another curve that comes up to here. And it goes down. Yes. I do great okay. line down. Yes. And then we're going to do another one that matches on the other side, okay? So draw another line over here. See how those match? Mm -hmm. So we can do a, one that matches on this side and connects to that one. Good. Okay, now let's draw the rest of his tail. So let's put a point. You can do your own point. Right, yeah. right there. Right in the middle. Good. And we're going to draw a curve line to there. Yes. Good. And then we'll draw another curve line to this side. <laughs> awesome. Okay, now let's do two lines right here. Just like we did up here on the front. And we'll do two lines on this side also. One, two. Austin, we did it. We drew a walrus. Yeah. Give me five. Was that fun? Yeah. Are we going to color it? <laughs> yes, we are. We're going to totally color it. Oh. <laughs> okay, Austin, we got our colors picked out. We're going to use oil pastels. And we're using the Pentel brand. We got two colors, right? This yeah. is ochre. And this is just regular brown. And we're going to color our walrus first with this. And then we're going to do a little bit of shading with this one. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. All right. Let's fast forward and then our art friends composite, okay? Okay. Right now. Now. Austin, he looks super awesome. You did a good job on coloring your walrus. Should we do a little shading? Yeah. Okay. We're, gonna, we're done with our other oil pastel but we're gonna use this darker color to make some dark parts 
on his body. Okay, so we're gonna use our brown on the very bottom of his body and we're just gonna put a line down here where his belly is. Can you do that? Yeah. You wanna try it? Mm. Yep, I can do it. <laughs> I know you can. <laughs> oh. yeah. Good job. Yeah, just on the bottom. Good, and then skip the flipper. Awesome, and then you can make that line kind of big. Do you see this line? Yeah. See how it's big? You yeah. can do it a little bigger, just like that line. And this is the shadow. This is where the light doesn't hit. So the light's coming from the top, and then it makes it darker on the bottom. Is that cool? Yeah. Okay, now let's do another line. Let's do a line that's under his mouth, in between his teeth. Oh. That's okay, you're doing good. Yes, right there. Just under his teeth. And on the, the other side. Yeah, on the other side. And I'm going to do that too. On this side too, where his cheeks are. <laughs> <laughs> let's do let's do some over here on this flipper. On this one. Oh. Right there. Yeah. Good. Okay. You can color the whole thing in. Yeah. Yes. Good. Okay, and then let's do a shadow that's right next to his tooth, his teeth. So, and or his tusks. We'll and do it on this side, and then we're going to do it on this side, too. Like this. Yes. Oh, you colored the whole thing. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And then you can do a little line on this side of, of that tusk. Let's do a little line. Yeah, good job. Okay, now we're going to get this, we're going to get our light brown, or the ochre, and we're going to blend it. So we're going to start over here, and we're just going to do a line that's right next to the brown, and it's going to blend it in so it looks smooth. Do you see that? Yeah. Can you do that? Try yeah. it. Yeah, I can do it. Yes. And go over the whole, th go over the whole thing. Okay. Try it out. It looks <laughs> like that. And I'm going to blend the top. And this part we could even just leave off. We could leave that line exactly Wait, how it is and just this. be done. Look how we do that. I kind of like the blending. Oh yeah, you can do the fl that flipper too if you want. Good job. <laughs>